Welcome to Mongoose channel. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a real-time graph using Mongoose wizard. I will be using an STM32 development board. Visit mongoose.ws and open Mongoose wizard. Start a new project. Select the target directory where the generated project will be stored. Choose the target architecture, Nucleo F756ZG, but you can use any other board. The procedure will be identical. We could use Zephyr or Cube as the build environment, but let's stick with the bare metal makefile to keep things quick and simple. Choose a blank dashboard, click Next, and click Finish. First, let's build a blank dashboard and then add a graph to it. Click Generate. The wizard creates a bare metal project in your output directory. Start the serial console. Run make build flash to build and flash the binary. Open the IP address in the browser and see the blank dashboard served by our device. Go back to wizard, API editor, add the data endpoint called sensor with the numeric attribute called level. Add a panel, add a graph, remove unnecessary elements. Bind graph to the API variable sensor.level. Change the level value and see how the graph changes. Now let's generate and push level readings in real time over the WebSocket. Open documentation, WebSocket updates, copy the WebSocket functionality to the main.c. Let's report new values every 100 milliseconds and simulate our data using user button press. When the button is released, let's report a temperature of 30, and when it's pressed, report a temperature of 50. For that, we need to read the user button GPIO pane. Open Nucleo F756 board datasheet. Search for the user button pin number. It is PC13. Initialize it in input mode. Click on settings. Choose integration mode. Click on generate. Rebuild and reflash the project. And now we should see the graph showing real time data. Hit like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.